revealed to babes. Timothy 2, 3, 13 through 17. But evil men and imposers shall go on to the worst, leading astray and being led astray. But you, stay in what you have learned and trusted, having known from whom you have learned, and that from a babe you have known the set apart scriptures, which are able to make you wise for deliverance through belief in Mashiach Yehusha. All scripture is breathed by Allahim and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for setting straight, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of Allahim might be fitted, equipped for every good work. Proclaim the word. Timothy 2, 4, 2 through 5. Proclaim the word. Be urgent in season, out of season. Reprove, warn, appeal with all patience, teaching. For there shall be a time when they shall not bear sound teaching, but according to their own desires, they shall heap up for themselves teachers tickling the ear, and they shall indeed turn their ear away from the truth and be turned aside to myths. But you, be sober in all matters, suffer hardships, do the work of an evangelist, ac accomplish your service completely. Tickle in the ear refers to smooth words or things that sound pleasing to the ear rather than what you need to hear that's correct. And this is taking place now where you have preachers teaching the laws done away with and telling people it's okay to do all the things that are not in the Bible. You have to ask questions, see proof. Don't hesitate to take the time to study on your own. Elders, teach the young. Titus 2, 2-8 The older men are the sober are to be sober, serious, sensible, sound in belief, in love, endurance. The older women, likewise, are to be set apart in behavior, not slanders, not given to much wine, teachers of what is good, in order for them to train the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be sensible, blameless, workers at home, good, subject to their own husbands, in order that the word of Elohim is not evil spoken of, Likewise, urge the young men to be sensible. Show yourself to them as examples of good works in all matters. In teaching, show uncorruptness, seriousness, soundness of speech beyond reproach, in order that the opponent is put to shame having no evil word to say about you. As elders, it's your responsibility to teach the children with wisdom in the way they should go. Likewise, for parents, it's your duty to teach the children in the way they should go, as in Proverbs 22, 6. Train a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he turns not away from it. So I urge you to teach your children the laws in the Bible. Teach them of Yahuwah and Yahusha, and lead them at a young age to love their brothers and sisters and to be proud of who they are. Teach the young women to love and be respectful towards their brothers and husbands. Likewise, teach the young men to love their sisters and not to indulge in foreign women, but rather those of their tribe. Teach them the Torah, which is good for the knowledge of sin and also righteousness. Discipline. Abram or Hebrews 12, 5-11. And you have forgotten the appeal which speaks to you as the sons, my son. Do not despise the discipline of Yahuwah, nor faint when you are reproved by him. For whom Yahuwah loves, he disciplines and flogs every son whom he receives. If you endure discipline, Elohim is treating you as a son. For what son is there whom a father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, of which all have become shares, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Moreover, we indeed have fathers of our flesh discipline us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they indeed discipline us for a few days as seemed best to them, but he does it for our profit, so that we might share his apartments, and indeed, no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but grievous. 
but afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Trial and Turmoil Jacob or James 1, 3, 5 My brothers, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the proven of your belief works endurance, and let endurance have a perfect work, so that you be perfect and complete, lacking in none. 12. Blessed is the man who does endure trial, for when he has been proved, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Master has promised to those who love him. Not only hearers, but doers. Jacob, or James, 1, 22 through 25. And become doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Because if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man who looks in his natural face in a mirror, for he looks at himself and goes away, and immediately forgets what he was like. But he that looks into the perfect Torah, that of freedom, and continues in it, not becoming a hearer that forgets, but a doer of works, this one shall be blessed in his doing of the Torah. Not only should we study, but we should also become doers of the word. As the saying goes, faith without works is dead, or talk is cheap. But we should walk kadash, holy, and not just talk about it. And your actions shall be evidence of your fruits. 2.17 So also, belief, if it does not have works, it in itself is dead. The sin of partiality. Partiality. Jacob or James 2 7 through 11. Do they not blaspheme that good name by which you are called? If you truly accomplish the sovereign's law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin being found guilty by the Torah as transgressors. For who, so whoever shall guard all the Torah and yet stumble in one part, he is guilty of all. For he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not murder. Now, if you do not commit adultery, but you do murder, you have become a transgressor of Torah. So speak, and so do, as those who are to be judged by a Torah of freedom. Turning one back to truth. Jacob or James 5, 19 through 20. Brothers, if anyone among you goes astray from the truth and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the straying of his way shall save a life from death and cover a great number of sins. 